index that will naturally come after that. Secondly, I think with the present RH bill, um, I will have to look for openings to include uh, uh, HIV AIDS prevention to broaden the, the scope of uh, reproductive health to go beyond women's issues, to go beyond uh, population management. But that is a big challenge because the RH bill itself is facing so much opposition that there is little room for debate within the proponents so uh, they might not be too keen on further adding uh, other issues to the existing bill, but I, I think that is something to, that we can explore. And thirdly, on the anti-discrimination bill, uh, I think one really one hindrance to AIDS prevention uh, and, uh, is really the discrimination and the stigma that uh, many of the vulnerable sectors and so an anti-discrimination bill, and this is what uh, one of our uh, delegates asked with regards to official policy on gender identity and, and sexual orientation. That would fall within the scope of the anti-discrimination bill. And uh, well, we, we will have to work harder uh, on this, and I hope that uh, many of the networks in the Philippines who are represented here back, we really sit down and strategize, plan out uh, the legislative agenda um, for the MSMs and, and for the other concerns. Okay. It's great to hear some, some 